babes, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we have Pomegranate in the house. I have this beauty right here. Like, hello. Say hello to my boo thing. Like, baby, this is on fire. And can you appreciate my look? Hmm. If you're ready to see what's up with this baby right here and you want to know how I created this look, keep on watching. video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us a fam go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it today's glow it is serious like i'm loving like i love the way i look today and this baby right here it's giving me everything i need so pomegranate came through with her mothership palette number nine the hilltopia's dream let me start with the outside packaging so far it is one of the best it's the one that i like the most out of all the other mothership palettes boxes it is $125. I know it's expensive, but if you are familiar with her mothership palette, then you already know what time it is. And if you're not and you are questioning why there are so much money, let me put it to you like this. There's nothing else from no other brand, no other palettes that look like Pomegranate mothership palettes. This palette, they look serious, they're weighty, they're just so pretty to have. Here we have it. I have a plastic right here on top, which I'm not gonna be taking it off right now. It is not fingerproof, so watch your fingers. And this is just so sexy and so, so exotic. The mirror inside, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. Like the design, you see it a little bit, in the mirror that goes all the way around it's everything the formulation is ultra blendable and hyper wearable in 10 creamy pigments from iridescent solar bronze and shocking pink corals we're getting five different finishes velvety matte metallics shimmers high shine and satin finish and of course we're gonna be comparing this baby with divine rose one and divine rose two and this palette it is available at her website and at sephora at her website she have like this little combos where she sells the palette with the mascara eyeliner or whatever so if there is other things from pomegranate that you want or you're being wanting i recommend you to get it off her site and like that you're gonna save a little bit of money but if you are intense like me and you don't want to wait for it, you just want to get it faster, then that's another token I suggest you to get it from Sephora. And I also picked up the Intensify Eyes Artistry Wand. It is $32. And this is an easy to use pen that is going to give you more out of your shimmers, more out of your glitter. It's just going to make them more vibrant. You are going to use this as a base when you layer in shadows to optimize the finish. And this is a clear hydrating formula that it glides and it's going to give you a smooth and even shadow application. And it's supposed to make your eyeshadows last longer. Who don't want them? This is a clickable pen. So once it goes up, it doesn't come back down. Make sure you take out little by little so you don't waste the product. There's no type of color here and it doesn't feel all the way watery, liquory, but it doesn't feel balmy, sticky neither. If you were thinking like me and you thought that this was going to be like a, like a lip balm or something like that, no, it's not the same thing. <laughs> I'm actually surprised because I thought this was going to feel like very emollient and not at all. So now I'm going to be bringing you all up in my grill and I'm going to show you really quick how I created this look. I also used the palette as a blush and for a highlighter. Look at the highlighter on fleek. Stay tuned for the comparisons and all that good stuff. Perfection. Look at that. Look at that. You can see all the shades. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Here it is, my boo thing, and with my BK Beauty 201, I'm gonna be grabbing this shade right here, and I'm gonna apply it on my eye as a base. I'm 
I'm gonna bring the shade high up because I want it peeking through when I apply the other shade on top. With my BK Beauty 202, I'm gonna go into this pinky coral shade and I'm gonna start from my outer V. And I'm gonna be packing this pretty ass shade. Look at that shade. That's nice. In my crease. So I'm gonna pack it in and then we blend it. Look at that. That is so pretty. Now with the tip of the brush, I'm gonna start blending the edges, only the edges, in slow, light, circular motions. I'm gonna bring this shade all the way in the inner part of my eye. With my BK Beauty 201, I'm gonna go back with the first shade that we use, and I'm gonna apply it right here on top. See how you see both of the shades? Okay, so the fun part. I used all the shades, well, except this one. I just realized that I didn't use this shade. But there's nothing crazy about that shade. That's a regular champagne shade, so it's okay. As you can see, I lined all the shades in my eye and I put them together into our eye look. They look super stunning. They blend in one another, beautiful. And the combination of shades and colors is like sickening. I'm in love. This look was super easy and quick to create. You're not even doing much and it looks like it took me an hour to create and it didn't even took 10 minutes. You just need to be precise. You need to work neat if you want all the colors to show the way they're showing in my eyes because you don't want to mix all the shades and then it becomes an arroz con mango and to know exactly where are you going to place each shade before you start creating the look. And you can go over a little bit too much because then you're not going to have space for the next shade. You have to have the same amount of space for all the shades that you're using. See, I already knew that I wanted to create a look with lighter shades in the inside part of the eye and then going deep towards my outer V. To me, that combination is what looks the best. You don't really want to apply deep shades in the inner part of your eye and then lighter shades towards the outer part of your eyes. That's not going to look the best. BK Beauty 202, I'm going to grab the brown. It's a brown, but it's very light. And I'm gonna apply it on my outer V, only right there. I did build it up a little bit, just to get a little bit more depth. I didn't wanna apply no liner, no wing, none of that, because I wanted you guys to really appreciate the shades in the palette. I'm gonna blend a little bit in circular motion. So we're gonna be using a packing brush. I'm not sure if you have the Ref 02. This brush be packing shimmers, mattes, whatever color to the max. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be grabbing this baby, the wand, because of course we want the max out of those shimmers. This is clickable, so just make sure you don't click it too much because then you can't put it back. We're gonna start right next to the brown that I apply on my outer V. And I'm gonna be applying a little bit right here. Right next to it. After I apply this directly on my eye, I'm also gonna grab a little bit with my brush. I'm just applying it right on the bristles. And I'm gonna be going into this brown. So I want that shade to match with the last shade we use. Look at this, this is pretty perfect. I have a little towel right here and I am cleaning my brush in between colors. I'm gonna go back with the wand and I'm gonna apply a little bit more right next to the shimmery brown that we use. Okay. I'm also gonna grab a little bit with my brush. And we're gonna go in with this shade. You go in little by little. Perfect. Now I mix that shade with this one. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna apply it right on top 
of the shade that we just used. I'm gonna go back with the wand and I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here. Same thing, I'm gonna grab some with my brush and we're gonna go in to this pretty ass go. I'm gonna apply a little bit right here without touching my inner corner. Now I'm gonna go back with my wand and I'm gonna pack a bunch of this in the inner part of my eye. And I'm applying a lot in here because this is where I want a lot of glitter, shimmer, whatever you wanna call it. I'm bringing it down a little bit right here. And boom. Now we need a little brush and I'm gonna be using my flat definer from Sonia G. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this a product and we're gonna go into this pretty purple. That is so pretty. I'm gonna pack it right here in the inner part of my eye. You know what? The thing is that with this pomegranate shadows, you could be messy. Like, be messy because they just look so pretty. The, uh, I love it. I'm gonna go back with my Ref Zero Two and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this. And I'm going in with the same purple. And I'm gonna apply right here. I switch brushes because this one picks up a little bit more. Now back with my flat finder, I'm gonna be grabbing this shade and I'm gonna apply right on top of the purple right here on my tear dog. With my inner corner brush from Sigma, I'm gonna also grab a little bit of this product. I'm working with this all the way. And I'm gonna go back with this shade and I'm packing it right here on my tear duct. Back with my flower defender from Sonia G. I'm gonna be grabbing this coral shade for my lower lash. And I'm gonna be packing it on my lower lash instead of blending it because I wanna get a lot of pigmentation. See, like the bright lower lash, it's making the whole eye look, look more life. And because I also want a little bit of depth in my lower lash with the same brush, I'm gonna be grabbing some of the brown, but with the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna apply really close to my lower lash, like on my lashes. And you see how now you can see both of the colors, the coral and the brown. Let me go apply a little bit of mascara and I'll be back. No fallout under my eyes, like none. So I'm gonna be grabbing my inner corner brush from Sigma and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this product. Not a little bit, a lot. You know what I mean. And I want this. I want more of this shimmer. I'm gonna apply a little bit more on my tear duct and I'm gonna bring it down right here. I normally don't do this, but because this freaking shimmers are so yummy. Like, look how pretty they look. They just give you, like, so much to your eyes. Like, they look so elegant. And I'm also going to apply a little bit right here on my brow bone. Okay, so I lower my lights because I want you to peep all the shades without studio lights. Like, look at this shimmers look at this glitters like they choose so much mm, i'm sorry if i'm blinding you <laughs> no but for real though like what's up do you like the look let me know right now in the comment section down below what do you think about this look because i'm in love all right so i want to use this shade as a blush so we can see how it looks Okay, and the formulation is nice. So yes, you could use it as a blush. That looks pretty. Mm, I like it. I really, really like it as a blush. Okay, so let's try the shade that we haven't used, which is this one right here as a highlighter. I'm gonna be using my Fan Pro from Sonia G. Mm. 
okay so that looks pretty really really pretty it looks intense but subtle at the same time like it's not too much and it's not too little I really like this shade as a highlighter a lot with my finger I'm gonna be grabbing this shade for my cubist bone can you see that like mm. that looks pretty I'm gonna be grabbing this shade with my finger and I'm gonna apply a little right here on my nose that looks nice I love my whole entire look okay guys so you already saw the application part of this video the look is already done now let's swatch the palette Okay, so this is a new palette and this is Divine Rose 2. They're not the same palettes. Divine Rose 2 have some shades that they're a little deeper than the new palette. And I am going to be comparing this shade right here from the new palette to this one from Divine Rose 2. Both of them have like that shift of green. So this one is... From Divine Rose 2 next to this one from the new palette this one from the new palette it is a different formulation this one feels way creamier okay so they're not the same this one is the one from Divine Rose 2 it is more purple more greenish they're totally two different colors this one from the Divine Rose palette it's just purple and green this one is more bronzed more brownish orangey it got like a little bit of copper I mean all the other shades they're not really similar Heutopia's dream have a brown divine rose 2 doesn't have a brown the deepest shade we get in this palette it is this plum color right there so now stephanie which one do you like more the new palette or the divine rose 2 i like the new palette hotopis dream more than divine rose 2 i like the shades i love this pinky coral shade right here i like it more so this one so here we have Divine Rose 1 and Hiltopia's Dream. As we can see, they're not even close. They're not the same colors at all. Divine Rose 1, it is way more sheer, more toned down. Here we get a bunch of nail trust. The looks that you're gonna create out of this palette, they're gonna be way more subtle. The new palette, it is it got it going on. It is way more vibrant. You're gonna have way more fun playing with this palette than the other two. This is everybody's cup of tea. Everybody likes this color store when she came out with divine rose one i thought it was way too sheer for my likings and then when she came through with divine rose two i love this palette but this is not everybody cup of tea not everybody like this hot pink that green plump so that's it when it comes to my final thoughts i'm pretty sure you already know what i think about this baby i adore the palette i love the color story everything about it it is so freaking pretty like the look i created today it is so elegant but at the same time it just got so much going on when it comes to the formulation it is consistent it is her good formula they blend beautiful one another i love every single color in this palette i can't wait to create more looks and when it comes to this baby i do recommend you to pick it up so you can get more out of your palette more out of your shimmers and let me tell you that when it comes to the application when i was applying the shimmers this made everything way easier 
Now you let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this palette? Do you like it as much as I do? Do you already pick it up? Are you planning to pick it up? Let me be totally honest with you. When it comes to my fave faves out of all her mothership palettes, you guys know that I love bronze seduction. That is like my top one. But this one right here. It's like right there with Bronze Seduction. Like my favorite Mothership palettes so far, it is Bronze Seduction and this one. If you don't have any of her Mothership palettes, this one will be a nice one to start off with. And we made it to the end of the video. Thank you again for another great video. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing down below click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i love new videos Mwah! see you on the next one